This is my uh, signaling setup that lets me uh, hold a steady beam on uh, another peak. What I do is I take that uh, aimer there and what it has is it has a pinhole at that end and underneath that uh, PVC uh, shadow there's a square nut with a hole in it. I've blackened the inside of the PVC and the top of the wood uh, halt to keep it a uh, little we light. We are trying to flash you from Butler Peak. Uh, this is KF6F. Uh, as little uh, light as possible on the nut because there's just going to be a needle of light going through that pinhole and lining up with uh, a nut. I'll walk around. I'm not sure which one you're on. Let's see, what you're on the radio right now, I believe, is Butler Peak. Okay, uh, we're not sure which peak you're on. Butler Peak talking to uh, Little Gorgonio. I, uh, I'm not getting a strong enough signal from Gorgonio. I'm going to shut this down for a second and trim up the mirror. Uh, we're not sure where that uh, Diamond Lake is that you mentioned. So you see my aimer there. That's the nut. And you see that annulus? That's the way it looks when I'm perfectly aimed. What you do is you sight the you sight the device in on the We're, peak uh, you northeast, want. It's about 290 degrees northwest, that is. By uh, looking through the pinhole at this end, that's uh, about a five hundredths of an inch diameter uh, pinhole. So you look through the pinhole, use it as a peep sight, and you look through the through the aimer and you center that on the peak. Then you line up the beam and you uh, get a little needle of light going through that pinhole. You catch it on your hand and you walk it until it's centered on there. Now you noticed it's drifted off a little uh, bit. That happens due to the sun's motion. So you can see the beam is off and to the, the left. To the right of, uh, and I've got this uh, targeted right now on uh, Keller Peak, which is uh, that uh, peak right there, and uh, they saw a nice steady uh, beam from me. Uh, so that's good. It lets me uh, gives me my hands free to use the camera or the like. If I learn Morse code, I could uh, use Morse code, but. Uh, that's how my little aiming setup works. Uh, and it's drifted off some more, I imagine. Yeah, you can see that uh, in the time we've talked, you can see how far it's drifted. So you got to keep uh, tweaking it up. And so that's, that's how my operation on target uh, mirror beam aimer works.